Hi, I'm Rob Vanstone. I'm here with Mary McCormick. Never thought I'd be wearing this on December 7th, a momentous day in rider history. They've done something they've never quite done before. Taking a head coach from a Grey Cup winning team a week after the championship. What an event this is. What are your thoughts, Mer? I just kind of wonder, maybe it's kind of a weird statement. I've been 13 at the Eskimos come in and scoop Corey Chamberlain out, what the reaction would be. Today it's a celebration. And it is, they got, I'm kind of wondering, do they want a head coach more or did they want the VP and GM want more? Who was more important? And I think they get the best head coach available. We'll have to see what he does as the GM in football ops. A lot of talk about his background here, but still not a lot of proof in the pudding about what he can do. So they got their guy. Now they got to move ahead because 2017, they're going across the street and a 3-15 and record does not travel well in Saskatchewan, no matter how far the distance. Well, I mean, it's an opportunity to do my own thing. You know, I mean, uh, you know, Ed and I worked very closely together. Paul Jones did a good job bringing personnel, but this is an opportunity for me to come here and uh, and do this, you know, do this with uh, in conjunction with Craig and uh, build build the thing from the ground up. First and foremost, he's a he's a great leader, um, and and he's had a track record of success wherever he's been. Right? He's built programs. You, you you've seen what he did in Edmonton very recently. He 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 took that club from four and fourteen to Great Cup championship champions. Um, so he's an outstanding leader. He's an outstanding uh, football coach. He works as hard as anybody I've ever seen in my life, and he's going to work hard um, to deliver championships for, for our club. Well, Rob, last time we was here, the Riders won a game, I think. Did they win today? I think this is a huge victory for them. Probably their biggest, uh, I think, positive of the entire season. When, it, when it's in, you wait until the first week of December uh, until you have your first massively positive development. I think that says something about the way the season went. I think it's also a statement on how the, the season may go. I think your point earlier about Ken Austin was interesting. What would the reaction have been here if Ken Austin had left a week after the 2007 Grey Cup for another team in the league? It was diluted somewhat by the fact that he went down to the, uh, to the University of Mississippi, but what if that had happened here? People would be up in arms. I don't sense the same outrage in Edmonton because there's just not quite the same fervor. Uh, the people here should be very uh, excited and delighted over what's happened with the Rough Riders. What a development today. If you deliberate with yourself, I mean, because you, as an individual, you have to look inside. And again, we certainly had a lot of, uh, you know, personal connections there. We had a, a tremendous uh, amount of respect in the locker room, and our locker room was a, as good as I've seen it. Uh, you know, we won a lot of close ball games because I think the, the tie that those guys have uh, with each other and with their coaching staff. So anytime you have some of those things, it's hard to, uh, to move on to a different uh, opportunity. But when an opportunity like this presents itself, uh, you have to jump at it. So Chris Jones is in place. That's a major step in the right direction, but so many steps have to be taken. What now, Mer? Well, as Chris Jones says, he's got to hire coaches, he's got to get players. One of the things he said that I think is a point that's really going to be stressed is the personnel department's going to be in for some revamping. That means what Jeremy O'Day's status is going to be with this team going forward. A lot of work for any, no matter who came in here, it was a lot of work and there's still a lot of work to be done with this franchise and we're going to start hammering it now because in 2017 they go into a brand new stadium and what happened in 2015 does not carry over to that stadium. Well, I hope uh, there's, we're certainly going to be talking about them a lot during the winter and doing quite a few of these I imagine. I just hope for the duration of the winter I can keep wearing thin layers and get rid of this layer. For Murray McCormick, I'm Rob Vanstone. Thanks for your time today and take care.